Hello, welcome back to 2017, the Youth Challenge, we have seen Nuremberg. So, last season you saw us get promoted. This season, first season in the Bundesliga. First Bundesliga, obviously, just, I think, no signings. People left, I'll go through that, I suppose. Uh, Schaefer left because he retired. Um, any big signings? And, oh, Behrens left to Herfer. And the bloody, really good youth that I really liked. Left to buy Leverkusen, and I didn't have a choice in this one. But the board just decided to sell him. So, he's gone. And I can't do it about it. Really want to keep him, because he's got really good stats, good determination. He just could have been a future striker. Because he started getting really good at playing the poetry. On advance forward, mate. He's an advance forward. Would have been nice. But, you can, you can probably say we, uh, we didn't, um, we didn't really need him. <clears throat> we finished the league in seventh. Now that got us Europe on the basis of um, one of these teams winning the cup, which puts seventh as a European place. Uh, I'll back to hell look who won it. Um, I'll go into my schedule and then we'll have a look. Um, Leipzig won it, and Leipzig finished sixth, so it opened seventh to Europe. So we got to Europe. You can probably see what really helped us get in seventh. But we'll have a rundown of uh, those fixtures first. There's I don't know if the second one's league is on there. But obviously because of the Leipzig won the cup, you know we didn't. We got to the quarterfinals and lost to Wolfsburg. We beat Dortmund. Now, this was a brilliant comeback, because we were two one down in the seventy first minute. Then we scored an eighty fifth sorry, eighty fourth, eighty fifth and ninetieth. And one four two. Ain't Dortmund in his first season in the league. But obviously we lost to Wolfsburg and that's that. Now is that the first game? I don't know if that's all the season. Let me just, uh. Because it messes it up a little bit, so let's go on all competitions. Yeah. So we, we started, interestingly, with a lot of losses. Um. A 5 4 loss to Hamburg. Yeah. That were devastating. That were really. It's more devastating than the fact that we were winning. But then. By the 2 2, you know. First win at season. Uh. Impressive results in this. Um. I lost 3 2 away at. Uh, Dortmund, um, we beat her for Stuttgart, then again, oh, this game, this 5-4 win, we played a lot of very close games against Dortmund, what was this like, great, first goal, we were 2-1, we were 2-0 up, then it was 2-1, then it was 3-1, then it was 3-2, then it was 3-3, then it was 4-3, then it was 4-4 in the 80th minute, and 5-4 in the 92nd minute. We have very close games against Dortmund. Hoffenheim 4-4. They got us back after that when we scored in the 92nd minute. Just like we had. Wolfsburg, we actually came back in that game, luckily. This is the biggest result. We beat uh, Bayern 2-0 at home. Ishak getting both, and you'll see Ishak's stats. You've already seen partially what they were like, and he did really well. Beating Schalke 4-0 were nice as well. But yeah, we did really well in the league. Finishing second, that's why his bank balance is so good. But, uh, if you've seen Ishak, he got 29 goals this season, if you saw it when I showed you the league table. But if you look at everyone in general, out of who played really well, it's more of a case of everyone played really well this season. It's like, <clears throat> yeah, if we look at, we'll go for goals, Ishak got 29 goals. That's in 32 games. 29 league goals in 32 league games. Mad. Uh, Cedric got 18 with 12 assists. Uh, Sabiri, who actually started playing now as the center attacking mid, also got uh, 12 goals and 12 assists. Kevin's goals have dropped down, but his assists have gone up for this season. I've killed an injury as an accident. Um, the fact that he, you know, 10 less goals but 4 more assists because he was playing um, a more center mid role. I say central then. But goals also came from like Petrick, Petrak, Breco. Eres, <coughs> Patrick Karam Kamabura, I don't know, he got some appearances as well, he came in as another right back and also can play CDM and centre mid, I think it looks more picking up a goal, but if you look at assists, you've already seen them, Kevin, Sabiri, uh, Cedric, Ishak, my left back again, play matches, yep, um, yellow cards, 21 yellow cards, if you look how many 
he got oh, I've just clicked on the wrong, wrong thing, but I get there anyway. Can we, can we just, there we go. Right, so how many yellow cards did he pick up last season? 12. This season he picked up 24. 21 yellows in league. He didn't get a single red. We only got two red cards. How did you get 21 yellows? It's mad. Look at average ratings. If we don't count Hoffman, Ishak 7.6, Cedric 7.6, Hovland playing well again. I think all my starting lineup. Yeah, uh, these were on loan. Some of these played quite a few games, but if we go from people that were usually always in my starting lineup, no one played below a 7. Hoffman, when he came on, actually played a 7.8. It's been incredible to see four of his appearances as subs. One of his games must have been really good. Or at least two. Or three, I suppose. I'm chatting shit now. We. I'm sure my defenders do off tackling, passing, you know, all that. It was Ishak's shot? Yeah, he actually got a lot of shots going through. But, oh yeah, this season, we actually got awards as well. The thing is, the second Bundesliga doesn't chuck awards out. This one does. Football player here, Volland. Now, the fun thing about Kevin Volland getting every single fucking award is that he played a striker, got 22 goals in 29 games, lower average rate and then Ishak, and less goals. So I don't understand how he got the awards he did. Football year. Manager year though. I got. With my very German looking manager. You know. He don't look like German. We got manager year because we were predicted to come uh, bottom. Or near bottom. I ain't actually showing you that. Players manager year we got that as well. The players newcomer. Cedric. I guess it's the first time I've ever played in this division. I don't know if that's how it works. I don't know if it works based on the fact that he's never played in it before. I'll assume that's how it works. Kevin coming second, and uh, Eris coming third. So I can't really complain about that. If we look at players that have got it before, pretty much all these players have gone on to do good things or are currently trying to. Except for maybe Andre Hahn. Han, Hahn. I don't know. Uh, Schalke. He's not really done as great, but like Goethe, Alaba, Cruz, Sane, Vigal, and Hendrix. But anyway, plays player at year, Voland. Still no L. Plays team at year. Get this, get this. Voland up front. We only got one player in it, which was Savary. Despite his keeper playing better than Neuer and average rating. Strikers, as midfielder, have got better average ratings, I think. I think of a Vidal, but Voland got all these awards for scoring 29 goals and getting 12 assists. I'll take more goals over a couple less assists. Quite a few, I suppose, but... It's a little bit unfair. I was say, why can't I see next season? It's just, just me all seasons. Did Roy's just change wing on... Oh. Okay, for... So he actually got... Roy's actually got in for playing right mid, but if you've got in all seasons, they put him as left mid. Even though in the first season, he didn't get in at all. Whatever. Makes no sense. But I actually do want to show you where we were predicted to finish. I think it's second bottom, actually. But man, I couldn't sign anyone. Yeah, we predicted second bottom. Because I couldn't sign anybody. But the teams that actually got relegated were Frankfurt, Augsburg, and Hanover. Who came up? Whoever beat Frankfurt came up. Because three teams got relegated. Oh, Kaiser Slaughter. Um, the Mites did come up. Yeah, Mike's Cal Sutton and Cal Sru, Cal Sru, Cal Sru, Sru, Sru. I ain't got a clue how to pronounce that. Cal. So Mike's Cal and Cal and Kaiser Sloan came up. But more fun thing to look at is my youth team. See how that's changed. I don't remember who was in it before. I do know a couple of these players did come up. David Schweinsteiger. Very English first name. Obviously the most German second name. It gets better. Because he's part Nigerian. Born in Germany. Born in Nuremberg. So he's he's very English uh, first name. Extremely German second name. Very white. Ginger. Part Nigerian? He don't really work. It's not... Not, not in... Trying to sound a little bit iffy with that, but... It, it doesn't seem right. I think this guy came up as well, striker, 
uh, Holger. I've got a lot of players now with good uh, potential. Uh, Pavlo Pavlovich, is, he's got very, for a 14-year-old, that's like, really like, set. Whereas I really wish I could loan players out like 14 years old, but I can't. There seems to be a couple of things wrong with that, apparently. Some players in your sub for so Giuseppe uh, Graziani, who's just he's pretty good. Still been trained to play center attack mid. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Who else came up? Uh oh, Kim Mayer. As a left back, ain't got any of them. Um hopefully he can develop into a left back, that'd be nice. Not that I need anyone, but we got obviously the all these three came through, I think. All the strikers. Is there a striker there's a specific striker on here? Is it this guy? Or is it the guy from the first season? No, it is this guy. 15 finishing on the 15 year old. Attempts off red kicks. What a lad. So he's pretty good. Um, do I have any weird named players actually, except from David Schweinsteiger? It's, it's upsetting. I had a son either. Not that I expect one after two uh, youth uh, intakes, but you never know. But you know what? I think we can class this season as a success. Because, well, well, the league's dropped. Huh, great. Because, you know, being predicted bottom and then getting Europe instead on a uh, seventh place finish isn't that bad. There, so I didn't mean to see preview. There's a couple of things I can show you while we're doing it, while we're going at it. Uh, past positions. We kind of just. I thought we finished in 10th for a very long time. We bounced a little bit and then just set in like. Ninth, tenth for a very long time, and his last few games jumped us up. Uh, they jumped us up with teams like Schalke. Bayern were top, and they only just. They got knocked off a few times. I think Dortmund ended up top at one point as well. No. Oh. They're the name so long, for God's sake. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, actually, I want to go into stages. I did want to come in here. I don't want the round, I just want the table in general. Um, just look at different forms. Our home form actually sits in the seventh. We lost three games at home this season. I think our away form drops us down a little bit. Yeah, there's a away form. Oh, wait, no. The home form season's in. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. In sixth, sorry. It still says seventh, but I realize we're missing a team. Team can hate. Hoffenheim had a dreadful home form. But yeah, we came sixth in home, but away we like, what, third, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Because we actually lost nine games at home. Which is a little bit disappointing, I only picked up 20 points. A second half of the season, we're definitely better than the first. Yeah, as first we've seen as fifth. A second, so we've seen as fifth. Last five games, we've seen second. Because we played really, really well in those last five games to get where we were. We finished 17, we finished 10 places above where we were meant to. Well, we're predicted to. It was 79 goals, which if we look at this, is the second most, but we also conceded the joint third most. Still, as goal difference still might be plus 17. Europe's going to be interesting next season, though, because um, we don't have that many players. If we look at the first team, uh, if we just. I'm on leagues, so it's easy to do this. We don't really have that many players. So, we're going to have a very tired team. We have a lot of players that can play centre-back, and left-back, and through-middle. Lacking our strikers. We only have two. Uh, when I had striker problems, uh, Sabri came up front. He's only 21. He's actually really good. He didn't play last season very much, I don't think. No, he got 11 goals. He wanted to leave. I nearly sold him. But I kept him. And he did well. Thank God. So, yeah. Uh next season you'll get to see us in Europe so thanks for watching this uh, update of the Youth Challenge and I will see you at the end of the next season